Okay, hello, I'm the Builder Boy, and this is the top 22 chaotic robotics hex bugs. So, number 22, we got Reaper. Reaper is a funny bot. It's, uh, it's a spinner that loves to shit itself. That fucking thing shit itself more times than I could count. It constantly kept losing at the final hurdle, and then when it finally won, it just kind of became shit from there. It lost to Captain Shredderator by also shitting itself. So well done, Reaper. You squeeze yourself onto the list. Number 21, Devastating Drum. To be honest, I don't really remember why I put this thing here, but it was pretty funny. Um, there's also a second version of it on DuckBot's channel. It's cool. Go check out DuckBot's. Uh, number 20. Number 20, we have the Berg. The Berg, it's a Bugglebots competitor, who the fuck remembers that show? Um, the Berg, literally Minotaur, uh, the, the Hexbug is literally a Minotaur. You just slap some yellow paper, give eyes on that drum, there you go, you got the Berg. The thing about this Berg is that it has love affairs with the pit, and that is hilarious. Number 19 is a lesser known one, but this is Chaotic Robotics' Yeti. Now, Yeti, according to Chaotic Robotics, was pretty bad. And looking at it, it is quite funny looking. Anyways, um, yeah, Yeti appeared like once or twice, and then it, I remember it lost to Lockjaw. Remember Lockjaw? That bot, was, that bot, um... It got destroyed by Blindside from what I remember. Um, number 18, one that literally no one will remember, uh, Petunia. Petunia was a beta with the fucking red colored paper on it and it, it was cool. I like it. Petunia's a cool bot. Number 17 is Bombshell. Bombshell is Chaotic Robotics' is waifu first and foremost and uh, Bombshell is quite funny. Um, yeah, that's about it. It really didn't do much. I don't even think it appeared on Chaotic's channel. Number 16. Number 15, Mako. Mako barely makes it into the top 15. Um, it's a funny shark bot uh, that is literally a build-your-own-bot drum with a shark tail on it, and that's its only main defining attribute. It's kind of alright. It, um, it certainly existed. And I like it. That's why it belongs on this list. Number 14 is Killer Crab. We're not out of the sea just yet. Um, Killer Crab is quite funny because this thing was definitely sponsored by Old Bay at one point and crabs are funny. Insert crab rave meme here. I wasn't supposed to read that out loud. But uh, yeah, this thing had the stupidest bit of luck in uh, Robot Chaos Season 3. That thing was pretty funny. It made it far from what I remember. Um, and the flag is quite funny when it spins. Number 13 is Little Nipper. Uh, Little Nipper, I don't remember anything about that. Why did I put this one here? Number 12, The Four Horsemen. I think the only fight the Four Horsemen got on Chaotix's channel was against Nitrius, and they got their shit beat out of them. Like, these things were tiny little vibrators and they just kind of moved, and they had paper casings on them. Number 11, just missing out on the top 10, is Gold Digger. Gold Digger appeared in one of Chaotix's uh, random robots and ideas videos, and oh my god, this thing is probably one of Chaotix's most accurate replicas. Why the f- Number 10 is Silver Star. As Chaotix has said, Silver Star is the Detroit Lions of Robot Chaos. And based on my very little knowledge on the Detroit Lions, I'll just go with what they said. But Silver Star has also shat the beds more time than I can count. This thing will refuse to do well. In Robot Chaos, well, actually yeah, almost every season of Robot Chaos, it's literally shit itself. In its most recent showing, in Robot Madness, this thing was literally beating the shit out of Killer Crab, and then it just fucking died. Congratulations, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Speaking of pieces of shit, number nine, Stratospheric. This thing, well, 
Okay, well, it did win a fight somehow in its original form. I It beat Spellbound somehow. I don't <laughs> fucking know. Um, yeah. And then Stratosphere gained a flipper. Like an actual working flipper with the blacksmith mech. And then it entered Robot Chaos Season 4. And it kind of just... It was Reaper's bitch. Number 8 is our first two-time champion on the list. Well, main series champion. I don't buy- I- you know, Behemoth, it's- it's there to get all the Robot Wars fans hard as fuck. And Behemoth is quite cool. It is literally probably one of the only bots still around in Chaotix's series that has paper armor. And yet it somehow managed to get as far as it does, which is quite cool. I commend Behemoth for that. Number seven is Nuts and Bolts. Number 6.5 is Drop and Roll. Uh, basically a shittier Nuts and Bolts, but a cluster box. Number six is Thunder. Th thunder is... Uh, I mean, uh, the only thing it's noteworthy for is that it, it's undefeated and it, um... It, uh, yeah, it's literally just a witch doctor with paper on it. It's, it's literally just a stock witch doctor. Number five! We've broken into the number five. Number five is everyone's favorite saw-wielding robot, Buzzkill. This thing has a cult following, and I love to know why. And I'm also a part of it. Buzzkill's cool. It's literally, like... A five-year-old's first robot like, Oh, daddy, daddy, I want to put that big saw on that robot. It's cool. It spins fast. But, you know, Buzzkill is quite overlooked and is quite funny. That's why it makes it on this list. Number four. Flop. This thing is hilarious. It's killed itself. It's actually, it actually committed the funny. It committed Sudoku. It literally climbed out of the arena against Electric Boogaloo in Robot Chaos Season 3, which was quite funny. Speaking of, Electric Boogaloo, this thing had insane plot armor in Season 3. I mean, this thing managed to get through the Despacito and make it into the bracket. Even though it didn't win, per se, um, when it reached the round of 16, the fact that it managed to be fucking... I know, Cyclone, Blindside, and Cat King. Like, Jesus Christ. And also, it's, uh, the, it's thwacking arm loves to fall off, so something something circumcision joke. Anyways, number two is this tombstone. tombstone. Business, business tombstone. tombstone. It's got a B, and it, it means business. Here are a few honorable mentions. Uh, all 72 of the Captain Shredderator's chaotic main. Uh, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of them. Probably put them up on screen or something. Uh, Pizza Time. Uh, that, that thing is quite funny. I'm probably gonna put the Spider-Man pizza, pizza thing, pizza theme in the background right now. Oh. And there's Ocean Man. Ocean Man is, I mean, Ocean Man just won Robot Madness, which was uh, quite cool. I really enjoyed it. Ocean Man has just been the dominant Tower. introvert, and now everyone's trying to copy it with their own Tower. introverts um, in the Hexblood community. So, yeah. Uh, El Dominador, Old Geezer equals very funny. Cyclone, this thing has also horrible luck, but nowhere near as horrible luck, so it won't get on the proper list because ha ha ha, it's my list. Blindside. Blindside's, um... You know, when you first watch Chaotix's channel, this is the bot that you get ho Next is Tenderizer. Next is Zinger. It is a lifter and it will demolish you, just like how it demolished its way into the Robot Madness field and it got... It did quite well. Well done, Chicken Strips. You're, I'm gonna put the song in right now. A fall or steer to impending doom. A lifter meets lifter in the round of 32 as the match comes to a start. The round is over with Zinger on their heart. Zinger is a lifter, but it'll still demolish you.
He's got tens of opponents. What will happen to poor old you? Singer is the best thing to happen since Paul Blar Mall top two. And he'll demolish you. Yeah, he'll demolish you. He's a lifter, but he'll still demolish you in the round of 32. Singer. Next is Seizure on the honorable mentions. A seizure. Okay, this the only reason why I put this thing here is because of like the uh, the journey that it's had. Like it's been around for such a long time. Like it was it was decent, then it kind of became a bit shit. You know, Robot Chaos Season Seven. You can go look at that. It was actually quite shit there. Then it had a massive glow up for in time for Robot Madness, and it just kicked ass. It just fucking kicked ass and made it all the way to the final. Next is Double Jeopardy. Double Jeopardy is. It's, it's, it, it, it works. Chaotic managed to make it fire a little ball bearing, and it is uh, quite funny for that. And finally, on the honorable mentions list, it is Thwack Attack. Thwack Attack is literally Electric Boogaloo's father. And that's it for the honorable mentions. Now, for number one, you know, I'll probably put, like, very, very, uh, hypeful music. You'll build up the tension and stuff like that. But number one, the best chaotic robotics hex bug ever is Snowblind. Thank you for watching. Go fuck yourself.